Alright, fine, so you don't want me to have those Giga Chips just yet? I'll go after some of the level 4 Navi Chips instead. In order to get a level 4 Navi Chip, basically what you have to do is S-rank the beta form of that particular Navi in less than 20 seconds with a team style equipped. It's a tall order, but very doable. It also definitely helps to have Collector equipped for this, otherwise you might get the proper time and everything, but still just get Zenny, and that can be a bit frustrating. So that should do it. And there we go, Gutsman version 4. So we're on our way. Time to go get the rest of them. At least the rest of them that I can get for now. Next, it's time for Kingman. He's definitely one of the trickier ones to take down in less than 20 seconds. Essentially, I want to be able to get through the folder as quickly as possible. I want to get as many good modifiers as I can get away with on Plant Man. That would get a really good program advance. The great thing about Plant Man is it will also temporarily break the pawns, giving me a few clear shots at King Man himself. Of course, the trick in all this is getting the chips I need fast enough. The RNG has been none too cooperative with me in this. Can Plantman break the Rook, I wonder? No, he cannot. Okay, let's see if we can get a good advance here. It's time for Double Hero. The real one this time. Yeah, now it actually needs Slasher in front of it. Sadly, this probably won't be fast enough. I'd rather doubt it. Alright, it was fast enough! And thus, thank goodness, I get Kingman version 4. So many attempts at this, I was getting 23 seconds, and I expected this to be the same. But, you know, I'll take it. Next up, it's time for Bowlman. The main thing with Bowlman is his attacks come a lot faster than you might expect from them. The Gatling Pin is not to be underestimated, that's for sure. The more you can stun him out of those attacks, the better it's likely to be for you. The Bowling Boomer can also occur faster than you really expect, so watch out for that too. Okay, let's see if we can finish him off here. Okay, was that fast enough? Yes, it was. Barely, but I'll take it. Bullman version 4 acquired. Next up, we have Metal Man. This is another one that can be fairly tricky just because of a lot of HP and the super armor effect. The gear going back and forth can also be problematic, but Plant Man at least can break it. You can also very helpfully hold him in place for a little bit. Pretty handy, that. Just have to watch out for those punches he throws. Unfortunately, Plant Man cannot get rid of the gear on your side of the field since he only attacks the enemy field.
That was a pretty quick delete and even a counter hit. Nice. So there we go. Metal Man version 4 and 10 delicious bug frags. Very nice. So with all the friendly Navi fights taken care of, now it's time for the random encounter ones. So let's start off with Flashman. Well, this one's easy enough. Fusro da! Yeah, Flashman version 4 is probably the easiest of them to get. So next up we have Beastman. Yeah, for those wondering, since I forgot to mention it in the last part, Flashman randomly appears in ACDC area too. I don't think he has any special requirements, but having battery installed will help. As far as Beastman here is concerned, he's located in the doghouse, and I think you actually do have to have Sneak Run equipped to find him. Let's go ahead and open the folder a bit. Okay. This should work out fairly well. Okay. There we go. That should be fast enough. There we go, 12 seconds and some change. And so we get Beastman version 4. We're on a roll. So next up we have Bubble Man. Oh, we've got something special in mind for this guy. He appears in Beach Area 1, but only if you're at critical health, the bloody coward. So first things first, we're going to make an ice stage. Since I'm Aqua Team, I don't have to worry about slipping on the ice. Nice benefit, that. It's also worth noting that the stage is a little bit different than it usually is when fighting Bubble Man. You have a hole on your side of the field, and he doesn't have his boulder to hide behind. But since Bubble Man's on ice, we've essentially doubled his weakness to Elect-type attacks. Like our good friend Flash Man. Okay. Gonna have to hope another Flashman shows up on the next turn. There we go. Just to make sure. This should pierce his bubble wrap. Indeed it does. Let's hope this was fast enough. Ooh, it was even a counter hit. Alright, there we go. Bubble Man version 4 in 15 seconds. And 10 more bug frags. Lovely. Here in the old TV at Yoka Inn, it's time to go after Desert Man. He's another of those that's rather tricky to take down in less than 20 seconds, and I don't think there's anything particular you have to do to encounter him. Just a lot of patience, really. It doesn't help that the entire field is sand now. It makes getting around his attacks a good deal trickier. Go ahead and get some powerful Bubble Man shots in here. Just sneak in whatever we can. There we go, that should be fast enough. Yeah, the more you can stun him with Aqua attacks, the better. You don't want him sinking into the sand because that wastes a lot of time. But there we go, Desert Man version 4 acquired. Lovely. Hospital Area 3 is home to Plant Man Beta. You'd think it would be Hospital Area 2, since, you know, that's where you actually jack into the Tree of Life, but apparently not. Since the place is already crawling with wood-type enemies, unfortunately, having the jungle program installed isn't going to help you out too much.
the main thing in this fight is to make sure you don't hit him when he's got the leaf shield up. Otherwise, you're just going to heal him, and that's going to make the fight take even longer. Let's see here. Go and viz. And Life Sword will do the trick. Hopefully this will be fast enough. Seems like it should be. Yeah, there we go. No problem. Plant Man version 4 collect. Here in Yoka Area 1, we can find Flame Man Beta. Having oil body equipped can help a good bit, but it can also occasionally attract fishy too, so there is that to worry about. So to make this fight easier, start with Area Grab. It trivializes most of his attacks. Now I'll open up the folder a little bit. Let's see here. That seems like a good use of an attack plus 30. Now I'll go ahead and hit you with this. Okay. Now we could finish him off stylishly. Slasher, Custom Sword, Vara Sword, Proto Man. Hopefully this will be quick enough. Looks like we made it. Flame Man version 4. Wonderful. Here at Hades Isle, it's time for Drill Man Beta. Since he's not elemental, you can't really do anything special to attract him, though having Sneak Run might improve your odds. Not getting hit during this fight, yeah, that's a tricky thing. As usual, we want to dump as many modifiers as we can onto Plant Man to really bring the pain. And also to break some drills. Let's see here. Add to it with this. Okay. No more modifiers, but hopefully we can do some good damage here. Was that fast enough? And there we go, Drill Man version 4. So with that I've gotten all the version 4 chips I can at least get on my blue game for now. Though of course, there is one other I can get currently, but that's going to require a little bit of grinding elsewhere. So now it's time to deal with Mist Man Beta over on White version. This could be a little bit on the tricky side. Start with some Var Sword combos here. Essentially, the main thing is you want to make sure he doesn't get a chance to use his field attacks. So keep trying to paralyze him with things like Flash Man, and make sure he doesn't get those missed attacks going. Let's see, what's he down to? 2.30. I'm gonna wait until he tries to use a missed attack so that I can knock him out of it. There we go. No poison mist for you. 
and we'll finish you off with roll. So now the tricky bit is wondering if that was quick enough. That's always the problem with version 4 Navi chips. But that was good. Mistman version 4 get. And that's all of them that I can get for now. And so here we are back on blue version, now that I've traded over Mistman version 4. And thus I have all the version 4 chips I can currently get. For those wondering, there is no roll version 4. Nor are there any higher versions for Punk. He just has his one chip and that's it. Good thing, since you can't get it normally anyway. There are, of course, a few other version 4s I still need to get. I just can't get them yet. For instance, I need to be able to rematch Proto Man to get his later chips. And there's also a couple of new Navis hidden in the secret area. And that's what we're going to be doing next time. I'm going to need a little time to practice those areas. They can be fairly tricky. But that's definitely what's coming up next. So with that, that's where we're going to call it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. What, you're still here? The video's over. Go home. Oh, all right. Since you're still here, enjoy an outtake. When they say under 20 seconds, they bloody well mean it. So next up we have Bubble Man. He only appears in Beach Area 1 if you're at critical health, the bloody coward. So we're gonna do something a little bit special for this guy. First things first, we're gonna make an ice stage. Next, we're going to start adding to the folder here. The nice thing about the ice stage is since I'm Aqua Team, I don't have to worry about slipping on the ice. Very useful, that. By putting Bubble Man on the ice stage, we've essentially doubled his weakness to a lack attacks. open the folder here and hope we get more Flashman chips quickly enough. Let's see here. Hopefully that's enough, and hopefully we can do this quickly enough. Well, one attack did the trick. Will it be fast enough, though? Seriously? 20 seconds even. Oh, that's ridiculous! Ah! I don't believe that! Ah, I'm saving this as an outtake. That's just ridiculous.